Hey there Aquarius, welcome and welcome back to the Stars and Land Oracle YouTube channel the Lucky Stars community. Cat Star here with a message from your angels. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. This message from your angels is a timeless reading. Timeless meaning no matter when you come across this message and it resonates with you, it is for you. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and go check out the second channel that wild spark you can get there by putting the at sign in front of that wild spark you can look in the description box right down below and there will be a link and or you can find a link on the community tab as well make sure that you go check it out watch the videos that are there and subscribe make sure that you are subscribing also while you're at it subscribe to this channel as well we would love to have you on both you are always always welcome all right let's see what the messages from your angels are okay oh that's beautiful i just see the first one out here so we're gonna get a couple more here okay bottom of the deck you got justice all right so there is a balancing out some of you have felt like maybe the skills were tipped in one way or another but your angels are here to remind you that uh, for some of you karma's coming through or karma's been playing through okay uh, but for others of you the the so it might be difficult might be hard with that uh, depending you have good karma bad karma so depending on what kind of karma might be coming through but also there is that balancing of the scales if you feel like it's been skewed to one side positive or the other negative a little bit more than the other there is a balancing coming through so be ready for that okay now aren't these cards just gorgeous Ugh. I got a bunch of new decks for this channel and the second channel and I am just in love with all of them okay so your first card out here from your angels is hello from heaven archangel Azrael your loved ones in heaven are doing fine oh let go of worries and feel their loving blessings okay so here it is with that justice card coming through here there is that energy coming through that there is a balancing um, of that energy for you know some of you may have been concerned worried about your loved ones that have crossed over maybe you have a loved one or even a um a pet that has recently passed over your angels or are giving you signs and or your loved ones are giving you signs and they are letting you know that they are just fine that they are loving you from up above and they are saying hello you might be seeing feathers come through you might be seeing um a prisms almost kind of uh rainbows or reflections in sunlight or through crystals is what so if you're seeing those uh you you're getting signs you're getting hellos you're getting nods um from heaven from your loved ones okay so your angels want you to know that yes they are around i just love the images on these cards that they are around and that they are sending you a blessing so whenever or in those moments where you feel like everything is good you're feeling at peace you're feeling harmonious that is that is that energy of your loved ones and your angels coming through to uh, really give you that support and that little hug that you feel in that way right that that peace that harmony for some of you may actually feel goosebumps as well uh, when they are near and that's how you know that they are there okay let's see what else is coming through you have the high priestess so number 11 so you have this the intuitive information that it's coming through they are showing up they are coming through in a very bold very bright way i just love looking at the images on the cards hopefully you guys do too uh these images the imagery on the cards that i have gotten recently just gorgeous i think they all are but these are just oh, fantastic super i'm in love with the imagery and the 
the boldness, the brightness. And so for some of you, that energy is coming through as well. You're feeling that bold, bright kind of energy, that energy of love or being in love or feeling love and supported. And again, your angels are saying those are nods, those are hugs, those that's love, that's support coming from heaven. Use your intuition. Okay. Use the what you are receiving, that warmth, that energy that's coming through, and allow it to come through and wash over you. Okay, that is that love coming from above. Okay, that balancing out as well. And then you have moon cycles. Ooh, Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations, and capitalize upon these cycles. Okay, so we have a solar eclipse coming up. We have, um, you know, lots of energy out there. I believe retrograde, right? We have a lot. Now, this is a timeless reading, but at the time of the recording, uh, that is what's coming through. So use that to your benefit. The energy can be a bit chaotic. Turn that chaos into that harmony. Use it to your benefit, right? When things feel like they're all upside down, begin to create manifestations that turn things back around or bring things right side up, if that makes sense. Your angels are telling you the moon cycles, and especially at this time, at the time of recording or whenever you come across this, uh, are very powerful. They can be uh, an energy that turns things chaotic, upside down for you again, or you can use them to create intentions to create huge manifestations, okay? It depends on how you use the energy to your benefit or otherwise. Now, I do want to show that within this specific card, these do look like uh, they could be doves that are all lit up and generally, or a lot of times a dove is a symbol for love, okay? So some of you may be working towards manifesting love, uh, that your angels are, are letting you know that these moon cycles, during the moon cycles, is going to be a wonderful time to release whatever may be holding you back or whatever patterns or loops you might be replaying, maybe thoughts, past energy, that sort of thing. Let that go, release that and or also for setting intentions. Now you can look up the moon cycles, new moon, full moon, right? The solar eclipse, uh, lunar eclipse, which I think we've already had, right? But um, you can look that up, a waxing moon, a waning moon, all of that, and really get that information. Um, your angels are wanting you to pay attention to the moon cycles at this time, okay? They are going to be beneficial. Again, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Now, the, a lot of times women's cycles actually follow kind of the moon cycles as well. So there is that energy that can be kind of put into play or paid attention to as well and kind of how that affects you and your energy. Um, now, if you are a male watching this and you have a female in your life, you can use the same kind of idea to see how that energy affects um, that person, right? So your angels really want you to, now look, you've got hello from heaven, right, up above, and you've got moon cycles up above. So there's this energy of looking up for some of you. <clears throat> Your angels and your loved ones really are wanting you to look up during this time and or um, more often. For some, you might be looking down or um, you may have potentially even lower self-esteem or uh, feel as if there isn't that that higher energy of of um, deservingness and or maybe your posture isn't that amazing. Okay, this is a little side thing. Look up hold your shoulders back and really um, connect with other people. It's going to open up your, your uh, breathing. It's going to potentially open up your chest area. It opens up your energy in more ways than one. So your angels really do want you to start looking up and or start looking ahead, start looking forward instead of looking down. And for some of you being gloomy or in the dumps or um, having that low confidence or that low self-esteem, head up head held high shoulders back really really allow yourself to be seen allow that respect to come through allow that connection to come in okay for some of you you've been feeling as if that's not something that's gonna happen or it can't come through but if you're kind of shielding yourself away from it you're I mean you're right okay the next card you have here is the fool 
So you do have a new beginning that's wanting to come in here. And again, it could go back, right? It makes sense now that your angels are wanting you to hold your head held high. The, the um, kind of that energy of the doves coming through here. That fool is this energy of a new beginning. There is a new beginning that is working its way through. That is wanting to shine through very brightly that your angels are bringing in. Look at that. Gorgeous. Um, but you have to be open and allow it. That means holding your head high, really being open to connection, to communication, to even for some of you, eye contact. Okay. That new beginning is ready to come in. Your angels have been working so hard behind the scenes for you to bring this through. And it's your turn to do a little bit of the work to allow this new beginning to shine through, to come in. Okay. And let's see, you also have the five of swords interesting enough that the five of swords is here but it's not here in an energy of being a deterrent or any of that right the five of swords is here kind of coming through as this energy of being protected your angels if you look the swords are kind of all around uh, this image and right so this energy is your angels coming through letting you know that you are being protected now that might not be um what we normally think of as the five of swords but that is the energy that your angels are putting through within this you are being protected if you open your heart if you allow yourself to connect if you allow for the kind of the scales to balance out right which is what they are working for um if you're paying attention and you're seeing right how everything is unfolding and you're using that intuition, you are being protected, okay? So if there is a fear or a concern, if you are holding yourself back, if you are keeping yourself away from certain things, or if you're not allowing yourself to see or notice or or tune into certain things, messages being one, right? Um, there is that energy of of protection coming through, of love, of support coming through. If you are willing to open up, you're going to see things that you have never seen before. You're going to have new understandings. You're going to have this uh, deeper connection. You're going to have that higher uh, confidence, that higher level of self-esteem, and you're going to feel amazing. Your angels really want you to be able to open up to the new beginning, to that justice coming through, to the moon cycles, to new understandings, to the information, the love, the support that's coming through from heaven, ready to illuminate you and that new beginning. Your angels want everything for you, the world plus here, Aquarius, the world plus, and they need you to allow it to come in. They aren't able to just do, they need you to ask and to open up and to allow for it. Okay. So they are working to bring about an understanding, bring about an opening, bring about a new information, a new beginning, right? That balance, all of that. And they need you to assist a little bit as well. They want you to know again with that five of swords that you are protected, that everything is going to be okay. Um, and you just need to allow for it to unfold. Okay. Wow. I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise also feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. So you're notified every time I upload new readings, it is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. Also, if you have a minute, subscribe again to this channel, but also check out the second channel, That Wild Spark, and subscribe over there. We'd love to have you. I'll see you in the next reading.